Welcome back everyone. It's fall. We mentioned that. You're going to be feeling it today. You got this thing. What As you were world? saying, we have Chef Ross Purple here from Purple Side of the Table. You said that we walk into a grocery store. I look at this and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. I'm just gonna it's put kind it right of down. intimidating because it's so hard yeah, and it's, big. It's super <laughs> intimidating. I mean, even as a chef, I remember the first time chef threw a case of these in front of me and was like, chop them up. And I was like, where do I start? Yeah. So let's talk about that. So some certain things that you want to do to prepare yourself for success. Get a nice damp towel. Okay. Put it under your cutting board. Oh, that is, so that it doesn't slide around. Well, meanwhile, my. Yeah. But so that the board that's itself doesn't slide around. Actually, this wouldn't be moving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so with this guy, you're going to take off both ends. Okay. Nice and simple, right? Okay. And you need a good knife to do yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely keep a nice sharp knife. And you can see where the bulb starts mm -hmm. to come in. So I'm going to remove that part off too, right? So now, anytime I can get the opportunity to have a flat surface, that's what I'm always going for, right? So that the food's not going to slip and slide around. So I've got st sturdy cutting board. I've got sturdy f food here. So I'm not going to cut myself, right? Mm. We so should once mention I, this is a butternut squash. This is, yep. Did. Butternut squash, <laughs> yeah, right. We didn't, did we? <laughs> One of my favorite squashes around this time of year. Why is butternut squash one It's of your got favorites? such a uh, high sugar, natural sugar content. And uh, I just love sweets. So I think that's why I love it. Does? it. Yeah. It almost does taste see, like a dessert with your dinner. You know, once you roast it up, it really starts to caramelize, right? Yeah. So yeah. Here, what did yeah, you put on you that? So I just put a little bit of olive oil okay. and I also Thank put you, a little chef. bit of some um, roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Yum. Mm. So you know, basically, he's yeah. been here for the last hour and I've been waiting for this moment. So continue. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so again, you've got a flat, oh, so I good. cut it down flat. Now I've got another flat surface to work with. Okay. You can buy this stuff chopped up at the grocery store now. People don't know that. But it's so inexpensive to buy it whole like this. Yeah. And if you can take some time and practice your knife skills, it's a great way to save money. And it, you can feel sort of accomplished afterwards, right? <laughs> like this isn't anything crazy. We're not doing anything special with it. We're literally just roasting it up. So once you get to this point, I see that you're cutting off the sides. Is there also a way that you can peel Absolutely, it like a potato? Absolutely, yep. Vegetable peeler okay. would totally work. I think, oh, okay. um, you know, what you can run into is it's a little bit thick. Yeah. So you'll end up doing, you'll peel quite a bit more. But so if you can get consistent cubes, that's what's going to help for accurate, consistent cooking. Right, so these Is that about are, how big you did for this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, they really shrink down. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, so good size. And uh, if you wanted to cut them smaller and maybe saute them in the pan mm -hmm. and make, uh, you could add that to any dish, risotto, you could add it to pasta. I love taking this roasted squash put it in my super blender with some fresh chicken broth, and then I make a soup. And if oh, I really wow. want to kick it up, I'll add a little bit of cream to it as well. That is gorgeous. You have got to make this this weekend because yeah, we're finally time. feeling the fall. It tastes like fall. It's orange. Yeah, it's <laughs> Thanks time. for coming in. Oh, you can do this with pumpkin too. Pumpkin's yeah. a little harder to tackle to peel it. But. Well, if you missed this, this is all going to be on our website. Make sure to join us. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef Purple. Oh, Go absolutely. to chefpurple.com. That's it here on WC. We'll see you later. Thanks, guys.